Hello, I'm Vernon Kay and welcome to the whole 19 yards, a general knowledge quiz where I ask the questions and our contestants have got to answer them. The only problem is on this show, the contestants are asked the questions here. Well, they have to answer them right here, 19 yards away, with all sorts of obstacles making their journey a lot harder than I made it look. <laughs> Welcome to the hole, 19 yards! From Pinewood Studios, it's The Whole 19 Yards. Please welcome your host, Vernon Kay! Hello and welcome to The Whole 19 Yards, where tonight one of our four contestants will have the chance to play for a life-changing £100,000. <laughs> There's always an however. In order to win the right to play for big bucks, they will first have to beat the other contestants over three incredible, ingenious 19-yard challenges. <laughs> what are those challenges, I hear you cry? <laughs> Thank you very much, I'm glad you asked. Well, here to tell us more is the girl who's got literally everything, especially when it comes down to knowledge about 19 yards worth of games. It's the lovely Caroline Flack! Face, powerful legs to get them through our sticky Velcro course, and eagle eyes to find our hidden keys. And it's not just about having the physical attributes of the Bionic Man, they'll also need bionic brains to make sure they get the answer right at the end of each challenge. Back to you, Vernon. Thank you very much, Caroline. There'll be more from Caroline a little bit later, but now let's meet the four people hoping they can go the distance. And of course, that distance being the whole 19 yards. It's tonight's contestants! Kerry Rubens is a 36-year-old part-time caterer and property agent from Kent. Jamie Brooks is a 39-year-old RAF software engineer from Wiltshire. 43-year-old Lisa Ansell is an employability trainer from Clacton-on-Sea in Essex. 27-year-old Rob Chapman is a draftsman and a dance teacher from Coventry. Oh, Kerry, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Now, you're a part-time canteen assistant. Yes. And a property manager. Yes. And in your part-time, how do you keep fit? Um, I do body attack, body uh, step, and we have a pole in the house. All yeah. oh, right, like a swing yourself yes. around yeah. pole. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Do you think your uh, physical prowess on the pole is going to help you tonight on the whole 19 yards? Who knows? It's anyone's game, so... It is indeed. Good luck, yeah, Kerry. Thank you. How are you, Jamie? I'm fine, thank you very much. Very good. I've got to say, that's the finest <laughs> pair of pins <laughs> I've seen on a gentleman. If you can get away with these, you can get away with anything. To be honest with you, you're not getting away with them. But you look good all the same. Now, uh, Jamie, you're in the RAF. That's right, I'm in the RAF. What do you do in your spare time? Um, do you know what? I've got a little lad who consumes all my time. He is the best boy in the world. We spend most of our time, we'll be in the shed. Yeah. Um, and it's uh, building little uh, detectors, laser beams, things like that, you know, little uh, burglar cool. alarms, anything like that, really. So basically, yeah. in his eyes, you're Inspector Gadget. I'd say, well, I'm not for long, but yeah. <laughs> Good luck tonight, Thank Jamie. Wish you all the very best. Lisa, Thank welcome you. to the show. Hello, Vernon. Now, explain your job. You're an employ... employability, employability yeah. trainer. What does that involve? Basically, you're teaching young people how to progress from school, give them lots of confidence, oh, okay. get them to find out what's good about them and, and really sort of boost them up so they can go out to uh, refresh them with a positive attitude. So you prepare them for the big, wide world Absolutely. outside. <laughs> right, good luck. Hello, Rob, at the end. Hi there, Vernon. How are you? Very good, thanks. Very good indeed. Good. I'd be good if I were you, because you've got an IQ of 144. 
So I'm told, yeah. So uh, I think we've met the brains of the bunch. <laughs> <laughs> it's our two fellas tonight, no offence ladies. <laughs> what do you do for a living, Rob? Uh, I'm a draftsman during the daytime and in the evening I run a dance studio with my partner, my dance partner Natalie. OK, well, good luck. <laughs> All right, guys, let's bring on your first 19-yard challenge. It's Notting Hills! <laughs> Good luck, everyone. Caroline, please talk us through Notting Hills. This is Notting Hills, and I can tell you it's certainly no carnival for our contestants. They'll need to get up and over this first wall as quickly as possible. Only there's a twist, or should I say several twists, in the shape of multiple knots like these all along the rope. These knots will have to be untied to allow the rope to pass through the contestants' safety clips, or they won't be going anywhere. Having scaled the first wall, they slide down the other side, only to come face to cliff face with another set of fiendishly fiddly knots. And after all that climbing and not fumbling, they'll need to hit their buzzer and get the question right to go through to the next round. Vernon. Thanks, Caroline. Let's go the whole 19 yards. I'm going to ask you a series of questions, and as soon as you think you know the answer to any one of those questions, then it's your cue to go. Head down the 19 yards and try and get to your buzzer quicker than your fellow contestants. Remember, you've got to have the right answer. OK, here come the questions. They're all about TV soaps. Question one. Which TV soap features the character Cindy Hutchinson? As soon as you know, you go. You're not going, you don't know. Which TV soap features the character Dr Rachel Armstrong? No. <laughs> right, here we go, let's try question number three. Which TV soap features the character Toadfish Rebecca? Oh, they both go! Three of them have gone! Oh, she's on his way! It's a staggered start, but they only got the same question. This is Notting Hills, and I'm Glenn. I'll be watching everything from here at Trackside. Well, not everything, just what's in my field of vision. I'm not Superman. There's Lisa peeking over the top of the first hill. Jamie in the pink lane is in the lead. Now, that said, a Rob in the blue is quickly catching him up. These questions have me flummoxed. I know nothing about soap operas. I only watch golf. Now, in the pink lane, Jamie is storming up the second hill already. Jamie is a software engineer for the RAF, a computing top gun who feels the need, the need for processing speed. Yes, at the rear, Lisa's finally made it up that hill, but uh, it's not looking good for her unless Terry here and Jamie and Rob all get their answer wrong. Jamie's on his final knot now before he can press the buzzer, but Rob is really pressuring him from behind, but he's done it. Yes! Will he know his answer? Yes, well done, Jamie. You went there one second. All right, everyone else, keep going, because you never know, he might get the question wrong. So you keep going. We need someone else to press the buzzer. Keep going, Lisa. Jamie, you left on question number three. Which TV soap features the character Torfish Rebecca? I remember it from a while ago. I'm pretty sure it's Neighbours. It is Neighbours! Let's go through the missing answers. Question number one. Cindy Hutchinson. EastEnders. No, oh, Hollyoaks. Just as well, you see. Dr Rachel Armstrong. Oh, doctors. No, another Aussie soap, Home and Away. That's why oh, you left on question two, you see. Yeah. As soon as you know, you go. Well, congratulations, Thank Jamie, you. you're through. Thank you. Let's go over to Caroline, she's with Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hi, <laughs> This is a bit of a weird position, isn't it? Are you all right? I've been in worse. No, I... <laughs> <laughs> What you did just then was proved how hard this game actually is on that first wall. The, the knot is the easy bit. Getting up the wall is a nightmare. Do you think you know the technique now that you've got to use? I'm hoping that I'm not going to be as bad as last time, but I'm sure I'll give it another go. Let's give us some support, everybody! You know what you're up against? Are you ready? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. OK, Ooh. let's play the whole 19 yards. Here come the next set of questions. Remember, once you know, you go. These are all questions about advertising slogans. I need to know which products are associated with the following advertising slogans. Question one. Which product is associated with the slogan Vorsprung Dirk Technique? 
Rob's gone. Rob's gone. Lisa's gone. Go on, Lisa. Question two. Which product is associated with the slogan, the world's favourite airline? Come on, Kerry. No clue whatsoever. Which product is associated with the slogan, helps you work, rest and play? Go on, Kerry! And now Kerry's away. Now, if she's going to win this round, she'll need to make sure it's all about the work and not the rest or the play. A bit of my uh, trademark word play for you there. Rob in the blue lane takes the early lead, but Lisa is still very much in this race. Rob's using his teeth on the knots. Well, that's not recommended by dentists, but it seems to be working for him. He's now just two knots away from the buzzer. Can Lisa get back, put the pressure on? He's still biting it. Here comes Lisa. Rob seems to be struggling on this one. Lisa's got a chance to get back into it. They're level, look at that, and Kerry's into it too. This is an excellent race, neck and neck and neck. Lisa's Knox technique is first class. She can untie my shoelaces any day of the week, except not today, it will be pointless. I'm wearing loafers. Oh, who's gonna take this one all the way to the finish? This is the tightest race I've ever seen. Will it be Lisa or Rob? It's all of this final now, who will it be? This is back, Rob, but no one wants you to win! <laughs> I want it, Lisa! <laughs> oh. Right, you're left on question one, Rob. If yeah. you get it right, you're going through. You're going to join Jamie on the next 19-yard challenge. If you get it wrong, we're going to go straight over to Lisa because she was second, all right? Pressing okay. the bus. Good luck. Rob, you're left on question one. Which product is associated with the slogan Vorsprung Dog Technique? Audi. Yeah! yeah! Hey, congratulations. Well done. Let's recap the questions. Question two was, the world's favourite airline? Qantas? No, it's a good job you left on question one. Lisa, any thoughts? Uh, it would be British Airways. That's right. Well done. Helps you work, rest and play. Kerry! Mars bar. It is a Mars bar. <laughs> well done. All right, those are the questions. Congratulations, Rob. Thank you you are much. through to the next 19-yard challenge. Lisa <laughs> and Kerry, only one of you, We'll go through to the next 19-yard challenge. Who's it going to be? Why not find out after the break? <laughs> and in the meantime, here's your chance to win another great prize, courtesy of the whole 19 yards. Yes, here's your chance to kick yourself out with the latest electronic gadgetry, courtesy of JVC. We're giving away a 42-inch slim LCD TV, a Blu-ray home cinema system, an HD camcorder, a micro system with built-in double iPod dock, and noise-cancelling headphones. To be in with a chance of winning all these gadgets, correctly answer the following question. What type of product is associated with the advertising slogan, they're great? A, breakfast cereal, B, mobile phone, or C, jeans? Call 0901 29 triple three oh one. Calls cost one pound from a BT landline. Calls from other networks may be higher and from mobiles will be considerably more. Or text gadget plus A, B, or C as your answer to double eight double three oh. Text cost one pound plus one standard network rate message. Red button viewers can enter by pressing their red button now or enter for free online at itv.com. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 4pm on Saturday. Entries made after the closing time will not be counted but may still be charged. Good luck. <laughs> the whole 19 yards, a show where the contestants were separated from the buzzer by a hazardous 19-yard challenge. Now, before the break, Jamie and Rob succeeded in getting through to the next round, but who will join them? Is it going to be Kerry? Yeah. Or is it going to be Lisa? Yeah. Let's play the whole 19 yards. Yeah. These are all questions about authors. <laughs> I need to know which authors wrote the following novels. Which author wrote Watership Down? As soon as you know you go, not too sure, not confident enough to go. Which author wrote Riders? Oh, they both go! Lisa Curry, all the way! Here we go then, this is it. Kerry and Lisa battling it out for the final place in the next round. They're both quickly up the first peak. Canteen assistant Kerry there, very dexterous, look at that. Undoes her first knot with ease. Over the far side in the yellow lane, employability trainer Lisa. She's a bit slower on this knot, but there you go. She's done it. Remember, this is sudden death. Only one of these two can survive. There really is everything to play for here. 
Well, not everything, literally, of course. That's not a realistic prize for a game show to be offering. I mean, that would include literally billions of items, wouldn't it? The logistics of delivering such a gigantic prize haul would in itself be uh, completely unworkable. Let alone the storage. Lisa is uh, doing her best to press Kerry up this second peak. Oh, she looks like she spent from her previous efforts last time. Will Kerry know the answer? Come on, Lisa, keep going, because she might get the question wrong. All right, the pressure's on, though, Kerry. There's one last place. To get you through to the next 19-yard challenge, I need to know which author wrote... Riders. Jilly Cooper. That's the right answer! <laughs> Well done. Congratulations. Well done, Carrie. Let's go over to Caroline and Lisa. Oh, Lisa. God, Are you all right? I'm very good, thank you. Have we worn you out? Uh, no, I can still go some more. Have you had a good night? Oh, I've had a fantastic time. And did you know the answer to the question? I did, yes. I actually knew the, question, the answer to the first one, but I wasn't sure whether it was John or Richard, so I'm like, no, 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 I'll just wait for the next one, but I should have gone. Well, listen, you've been a fantastic contestant. Let's have a massive round of applause for Lisa, everybody! Well, Lisa, you should have gone on question one because you were right. It was Richard Adams that wrote Watership Down. Who knows? Those extra few seconds could have given Lisa the edge. But, however, she left on question two. That's the name of the game. Kerry, congratulations. You're okay. through to the next 19 Young Challenge, along with Rob and Jamie. So, guys, well done. You're through! And now it's time for the next challenge. And as you can see, our contestants have all got changed into something a little less comfortable. And we'll soon find out why. So let's bring on the next challenge. It's Stick 'em Up! It's stick em up and the common factor between the contestants and this course is velcro it's covering all the obstacles and it's covering those lovely boiler suits that our contestants are looking so fetching in that means that getting through the course is like being trapped in a slow motion movie these sticky strips will slow them right down so that getting through here is like wading through jam but not quite as tasty in this final section, they'll have to fight their way through this ultra-sticky human flytrap, where maximum effort will be required to prevent maximum frustration. And if they can unstick themselves just enough to reach their buzzer at the end, all they have to do is come up with the right answer. Simple. Fernham. Thanks, Caroline. Now, we need to lose another contestant in this challenge, so make sure you get to the end of the 19 yards, hit your buzzer with the right answer. Good luck. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right, here we go. Let's play the whole 19 yards. <laughs> OK, as before, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. As soon as you think you know the answer to any one of those questions, then go. These are all questions about airports. I need to know which cities the following airports, named after famous people, serve. Question one. Which city is served by an airport named after Mother Teresa? Three blank faces, all of you clueless. <laughs> Which city is served by an airport named after Marco Polo? No. Which city is served by an airport named after George Best? Oh, oh there you go, Rob's gone, Kerry's gone, it's just you now! Jamie! Which city is served by an airport named after John Lennon? There you go, go on, Jamie, get, just get through it! That's done it, and Jamie joins Kerry and Rob on Stick 'em Up. Uh, Kerry, oh, she's caught there by the pink Velcro curtains. So Rob has forged a narrow lead in the blue lane. But he's also trying to free himself from the evil, easy fasting material. That is Velcro. Now Kerry's stuck in a hole, all of which means in the yellow lane, Jamie has edged into the lead. But oh, look at that crash landing from the RAF man there. Alongside him in the uh, blue lane, Rob's massive IQ is no match for Velcro. I'm a bit of a sceptic when it comes to IQ. One test told me mine was 85. That can't be right, can it? Kerry's struggling. Call the fire brigade. She's out of this one, I think. But look at this. Jamie, who left last, is going to be first to his bottom. Classic.
Isaac, hold 19 yards. Well done, Jamie. <laughs> the question you ran on was, which city is served by an airport named after John Lennon? OK, Liverpool. He stopped. Cos it's Liverpool! Yeah. Well done, Jamie. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, Caroline, where are you? I'm here with Kerry. She looks like she's getting very attached to this game. How are you, Kerry? Yeah, I'm all right. I lost everything, though. She's <laughs> lost everything, even her mind. Uh, is that your shoe there or your glove? I think that's my glove. That's a glove. We lost a glove. We've got shoes falling off here. <laughs> wow. You've got one more chance to go Yay! through. Yay! You can do it. You can do it. Thanks. Congratulations, Jamie. Thank Let's you. see if you, uh, if you knew the missing answers. Mother Teresa? No, don't know. Tirana, that's in Albania. Oh, no, no. Marco Polo? I would be a complete guest for Oh, nearly, Venice, oh, in Italy. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, George Best is Belfast, and you ran on John Lennon, which is Liverpool. Just you know what? Well. It doesn't matter, doesn't matter anymore, my friend, because you are through to <laughs> the next 19 yard challenge. However, Rob and Kerry, they've got to go back to the start because it's sudden death. <laughs> Kerry, Rob, this is it. There's only one place left on the next 19 yard challenge. Good luck. Let's play the whole 19 yards. As always, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. And as soon as you think you know the answer to any one of these questions, you go. Good luck to both of you. These are all questions about films. I need to know which animals are the principal subjects of the following films. Question one. Which animal is the principal subject of the film Racing Stripes? Rob's gone! Which animal is the principal subject of the film Seabiscuit? No idea, Kerry. As soon as you know, you go. Which animal is the principal subject of the film Happy Feet? Go on, Kerry, go! Yes! So, Kerry sets off two questions behind Rob. And remember, this time round, one of these guys will be eliminated. And look at that, already, I can't say that's a rare sight. Kerry is stuck yet again. And further down the course in the blue lane, Rob is pushing through his tunnel, really taking advantage of Kerry's Velcro predicament. He's forcing a decent lead. Finally, Kerry's forced her way through the curtains. A little bit of a fall. Very ladylike. I'm sure Kerry will be uh, delighted we've played that twice on national television. Rob uh, left on the question, Racing Stripes, which isn't a film I'm aware of. I prefer more highbrow stuff, like uh, Da Vinci Code. Look at this, he's within inches of the buzzer now. Although I suppose technically, headstanding Kerry is also uh, within inches of a buzzer, but it's hundreds of inches. Rob's shimmying to glory. Or oh, this could be game over for well Kerry. Done, Rob. Keep going, Kerry. <laughs> no, no. This is the situation that you're in. If you get this question right, you're going through. Apparently, Kerry's kind of hanging around back there. She's still in the However, if you get this wrong, we've got to wait for her. <laughs> question number one is the question that you left off. Which animal is the principal subject of the film Racing Stripes? It's a zebra. It is a zebra! Yes! <laughs> yes! Well done. Well done, and of course, we've got our winner, which means there must be a loser, unfortunately. It's Kerry, who's with Caroline. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah. Was that hard? Harder than um, last time. Yeah, really hard. I've got all these things stuck to me, so... <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, you've been a great contestant. What's been the highlight of your night so far? Everything, really. I've met some Not great mixed. people, but this, yeah, <laughs> didn't like this. Climbing one, I got there in the end, but, um, had a great time. A big round of applause, everybody, for Kerry! So, unfortunately, we've lost both of our girls. Lisa went at first, now Carrie. So, before we go any further, Jamie, let me see if you knew the answers to the remaining questions. Sea biscuit. No, nope, that was lost. It was a horse. Kerry left on question number three. Happy feet. Penguin. Penguin! <laughs> there you go, there you go. Well done. So, who's it going to be? Is it going to be Jamie? Is it going to be Rob? Who's going to go and play for £100,000? Find out after the break. Here's another chance for you to win big, courtesy of the whole 19 yards.
Now, here's your chance at home to win a cash prize. We're giving away £2,500 to one very lucky winner. For your chance to win, correctly answer the following question. Which animal is the principal subject of the film Jaws? A. Lion B. Bear or C. Shark Call 0901293302. Calls cost £1 from the BT landline. Calls from other networks may be higher and from mobiles will be considerably more. Or text CASH plus A, B or C as your answer to 88330. Text cost £1 plus one standard network rate message. Red button viewers can enter by pressing their red button now. Or enter for free online at ITV.com. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 4pm on Saturday. Entries made after the closing time will not be counted but may still be charged. Good luck. Welcome back to the whole 19 yards where our final two contestants, Jamie and Rob, are about to go head to head. Now, the winner goes through to the final. Here comes your sudden death challenge. It's lock and key! <laughs> Please. Vernon, this is lock and key, and the main thing to remember is that the buzzer is 19 yards away, locked up. It can only be unlocked by finding a succession of keys, and the first of them is somewhere in the bottom of this bowl of gloopy gunk. And that will undo your first lock. Here are to this pod full of feathers. Now, looking for a needle in a haystack is a piece of cake compared to trying to find the key that's buried somewhere in there. Once they've found that, they can unlock this next pod full of nasty stuff above their heads. There we go. The aim is to try and come away from that with another key and as little slop as possible. That key unlocks this little glass igloo which contains no ice, one key and a million sticky balls. Contestants plunge into that and come out ready to undo the final lock. Then they can press the buzzer and answer the question. And if it's right, they go through to the final and that chance of winning £100,000. Good luck, Jamie and Rob. Back to you, Vernon. All right, thank you very much, Caroline. So we've got our two remaining contestants. It's sudden death, Jamie and Rob. Here we go. Are you ready? Yeah, OK, very ready. Let's play the whole 19 yards. <laughs> These are all questions about vegetables. I need to know which common vegetables the following are varieties of. Question one. Which common vegetable is a Tokyo cross? Sudden death. As soon as you know, you go. Which common vegetable is a red spear? A red spear. No. Jamie doesn't know. Which common vegetable is a Savoy. They both gone. It's sudden death. Who's it going to be? It is sudden death. Who is it going? I did Bernard just say that. Anyway, Rob and Jamie search for their first key. If you want the recipe for that gunk, it is basically washing up liquid, spaghetti, and some dubious food colouring that we ordered online from Budapest. Hello, Jamie's got his first key. So he moves on to the feather ball. Bit of trivia now. There are enough feathers in that pod to fill three standard size pillows. Right, now I've read that fact out loud, I've actually realised it's, it's not very impressive, is it? Well, in my defence, it looks better written down. Rob still elbow deep in yellow gunk, but to Jamie's got his second key, so it's goo ball time for him. Rob still can't find his first key, and the frustration is beginning to show. Now, in amongst that pink goo is Jamie's third key, so he needs to unlock the ball, get covered in pink stuff, and find the key in the resulting mess. So it is key. Padlock, goo, mess. Now, remember, the winner here gets a shot at 100 grand, and what's this? Rob has finally found his first keys on the feathers. Trivia fact for you, there are enough feathers in these pods to fill up to three standard size pillows. Ah, I've already done that fact. Jamie rooting around like a pig, looking for truffles. And Rob rubs on to the goo ball now too. The gap is narrowing. But Jamie's got his next key. He's about to get acquainted with the sticky balls. In he gets. Now, quick fact, there are enough polystyrene balls in that dome to fill six average size bean bags. Bean bags? Who is providing me with these unimpressive facts? 
Poor old Rob is struggling to get his goo ball open. He can't even work it out. See, I told you IQ tests were unreliable. I mean, seriously, 85. Jamie's got his last key. He just has to unlock the button now. If he gets this right, I've been Glenn, and my commentating is done. Yes! Well done, Jamie. Now, Rob, you keep going. Well done, Jamie. Thank you. That's pretty hard going, isn't it? That is very hard going. It's harder yeah. than you think. The first bit is really hard to find it. But well done. It's obvious that you're very good at manual dexterity. Well, let's hope you get this question yeah. right. Also, I'm going over to Rob. Indeed. Who's having trouble with sticky balls. The question you ran on was question number three. Which common vegetable is a savoy? It's a type of cabbage. It is! Yeah! Yeah. Well done! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Congratulations! Jamie is going to play for 100 grand, but let's go over to Caroline with Rob. Rob, come on out. Come on. Happy <laughs> <laughs> round of applause for Rob. Oh, Rob. Hey, I thought we were going to lose you forever in a bowl of spaghetti. Me too. That was the most frustrating thing in the world. I, I honestly thought there wasn't a key in there. Have you had a good night? Fantastic, yeah. And Jamie's well worthy of this. He's done brilliantly all night long. Absolutely fantastic. I hope he goes on and wins sort of, uh, lots of money. Massive round of applause again for Rob, everyone. A fantastic contestant. Yeah, commiserations to Robert. Well done, Jamie. Just let me go through the, the remaining answers. Tokyo Cross, any idea? Yeah. Turnip? A red spear? Radish. Broccoli? Oh. <laughs> and Savoy. Every time you eat Savoy you cabbage, know, no. it's going to taste all the sweeter, isn't <laughs> yes, it? <laughs> yes, it, is. <laughs> it really is. It could be 100 grand sweeter. Absolutely. All right, join us after the break when Jamie gets the chance to play for £100,000. <laughs> and of course, if you at home want the chance to win big, courtesy of the whole 19 yards, here's hope. Here's your chance to escape to paradise. You and a guest could be soaking up the sun in the Caribbean resort of Barbados, courtesy of Armand Resorts. The lucky winner can enjoy seven nights on an all-inclusive basis at a beach resort, where they can take part in a huge range of activities and water sports. They can meet some of the native sea life on a turtle feeding trip, kick back and relax in the spa, as well as enjoying gourmet food in one of the many restaurants. For your chance to win this incredible prize, correctly answer the following question. King Edward is a variety of which vegetable? A. Spinach, B. Potato, or C. Carrots? Call 0901 29 3303. Calls cost £1 from a BT landline. Calls from other networks may be higher and from mobiles will be considerably more. Or text HOLIDAY plus A, B, or C as your answer to 88330. Text costs £1 plus one standard network rate message. Red button viewers can enter by pressing their red button now or enter for free online at ITV.com. Entrance must be 18 or over. Date restrictions apply to the holiday. Lines close at 4 pm on Saturday. Entries made after the the closing time will not be counted, but may still be charged. Good luck. Welcome back to the whole 19 yards where RAF software engineer Jamie is about to play for £100,000. <laughs> now, you've been quite calm. You've been very collected throughout the whole of the show. Did you set off with a game plan? No, I just wanted to come and give it my best and make sure that when I go home, I've got a little boy that's going to be proud of his dad when he watches me on the TV. Well, I'm sure he will. <laughs> I'm sure he will. Good luck. Caroline is with your friends and family. Nicky, how did he prepare for this? Um, he's been going to the gym a lot more for the uh, fitness side of it, and he's been uh, studying on the internet, <laughs> trying to brush up on his uh, knowledge. <laughs> and, of course, being his best mate, Ian, are you looking for him to share the wealth? Uh, it would be nice if he buys me a pint, but I feel he might actually just make me a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants a pint. Good luck, Jamie. All right, Jamie. Jamie and his magic tights. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. <laughs> All the very best of luck. Thank you very much. All right, Jamie, this is where it gets serious. Up until now, you've been running over various challenges yeah. to reach the buzzer, but in this challenge, it's the buzzer that's going to move away from you. In order to win £100,000, you've got to answer five questions before the buzzer gets to the end of the whole 19 yards. There's the buzzer. And there is the 19 yards. For each question, whilst the buzzer moves away from you, I'm going to give you a series of clues which lead to an answer. When you think you've got the answer, run and hit the buzzer. When you think you know, go. 
If you ever let the buzzer go, the end of the whole 19 yards, it's game over, Jeremy. Okay. There are five questions in total, each worth a different cash amount. The first question is worth £5,000. And then the next questions are worth more and more and more until we get to that massive jackpot, £100,000. <laughs> All right, Jamie, if you'd like to step up to your mark, let's play the whole 19 yards. <laughs> First question's worth £5,000, Jamie. Yeah. There it is, right in front of you. Five big ones. If you let the buzzer go the whole 19 yards or you get the question wrong, I'm afraid it's game over and you'll leave okay. with nothing. OK? Question one. For £5,000, Jamie, I'm looking for a pop band. As soon as I've given you the first clue, the buzzer and I will start moving down the 19 yards. Good luck. One of their hits was the theme song for the 2007 film Stardust. They sold more than 30 million records in the 1990s. They reformed in 2005. Members are Gary, Jason, Mark and Howard. OK, we've travelled just over four yards. Yeah. This question is worth five thousand pounds. Get it right, it's yours, it'll go in the bank. Get it wrong, and I hate to say it, you'll leave with nothing. What pop band am I looking for? One of their hits was the theme song to the 2007 film Stardust. They sold more than 30 million records in the 1990s. They reformed in 2005. Members are Gary, Jason, Mark and Howard. For five thousand pounds, Jamie, what pop band am I looking for? Is it Take That? It is! <laughs> Woo! Obviously, pop music, not really your not bag. It's my bag. All right, but well done. But done. Well done. Now, we've got a lot of yardage left. Yeah. The next question is worth £10,000, should you choose to go for it and answer it. If you get it wrong, you'll fall back... ..to zero. ..and you'll leave with nothing. OK. OK, before you give me your answer, before you decide what you want to do, Jamie, let's go over to Caroline, who's Ooh. with your good lady wife. He's got £5,000. It's a lot of money. What should he do? Uh, I would probably go for it. <laughs> what <laughs> subject do you hope for? Not any, anything entertainment-wise. Okay. <laughs> She's saying go for it. What do you want to do, Jamie? I am going to play. I'm going to follow the wife's advice because I've learned after all my years of marriage that that is the best course of action. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to go for it? I am going to go all for right, it. All right, good man, Jamie. Go back to the start with the whole 19 yards. Let's play a question to you for £10,000! <laughs> good luck. For £10,000. I'm looking for a country. Country. Its international dialing code is 61. <laughs> it's the sixth largest country in the world. It's the location of Uluru, also known as Ayers Rock. So far, the buzzer and I have travelled just over eight yards. Yeah. For £10,000, its international dialing code is 61. It's the sixth largest country in the world. It's the location of Uluru, also known as Ayers Rock. For £10,000, Jamie, what country am I looking for? Australia. Yes! 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 Well done. We've travelled just over eight yards. Yeah. So, at the moment, we're doing four yards per question. Yeah. Next question. Next question. Jamie, do you want to play for the next cash total of £20,000? There it is. That will be yours if you get the question right. If you don't get it right, you'll fall back to £5,000 at the game over. Yeah. Okay. Answer me this question, Jamie. Do you want to play on and play for £20,000? No matter what, we've got a great family holiday coming now, so we're going to play on and see what happens. Good man, that's Thank the you. right attitude. All right, Jamie, go back to the start of the 19 yards. And let's play for £20,000! Woo! Woo. <laughs> Good luck, Jamie. Question three. I'm looking for a superhero. OK. Bono and The Edge have written the music for a planned Broadway production about this superhero. <laughs> French skyscraper climber Alan Robert is nicknamed after him. This superhero's enemies include Dr Octopus, 
and the Green Goblin. Spring! Well done, Jamie. Thank you. You've travelled just over 11 yards. Yeah. All right, good luck. For £20,000, Bono and the Edge have written the music for a planned Broadway production about this superhero. French skyscraper climber Alan Robert is nicknamed after him. This superhero's enemies include Dr Octopus and the Green Goblin. For £20,000, what superhero am I looking for? Spider-Man. Yes! Yeah! Right, Jamie, as you can see, mm. your average, yeah. questions-wise, is four yards. Give or take. Four yards. You've got remaining just under yeah. eight yards. OK. If you get the next question right, question four, yeah. you'll win £50,000. Yeah. If you get it wrong, you'll go back and you'll leave with £10,000. Yeah. Before you make your decision, once again, I'm sure tension is arising with your friends and family. Caroline. Well, I'm sure Nicky's going to say it's his own decision. And you've got the giggles now as well. <laughs> but what should he do? Um, he's always said he wanted to win £20,000, so I know he'll be happy. Um, I say go for it if you're confident. I think he's confident. <laughs> yeah. He's <laughs> got a lot of it. He's definitely confident. He chose to wear them leggings. <laughs> <laughs> right, you've got 20 grand. That's yours. Yeah. Next question's worth £50,000, okay. Jamie. What do you want to do? Do you know what? I'm never going to have this opportunity to go for this again, so I'm going to be brave and bold and go for the 50 grand. Good luck, Jamie. Good luck. Good luck. As he shook my hand there, there was a quick glance. A quick glance to the audience. Yeah. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> Jamie, good luck. Go back to the start of the 19 yards, and we wish you all the very best of luck. Here comes question four. Jamie. It's worth £50,000, Jamie. £50,000. If you think you know, you go. I'm looking for a footballer. OK. Good luck, Jamie. He was born on the 2nd of May, 1975. <laughs> He's advertised pens, sunglasses and Armani underwear. He spent 14 years at Manchester United. <laughs> Jamie, you've travelled just over 15 yards. 15, OK. Just over 15 just yards. For £50,000, Jamie, what footballer am I looking for? He was born on the 2nd of May, 1975. He's advertised pens sunglasses and Armani underwear. He spent 14 years at Manchester United. This footballer, to you, could be worth £50,000. What footballer am I looking for? David Beckham. Yes! Yeah, yeah! yeah! <laughs> well done! Well done! Well done! Now, let me just explain. If you get the next question right, you'll win £100,000. Yeah. OK? If you get it wrong, you'll go back to 20 grand and it'll be game over. I want you to really think about it and be confident in your own thoughts yeah. and how you come to the conclusion that you're about to give me after we've had some thoughts from your family and Caroline. Yeah. I think Nikki wants to go for a lie down. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> what would you do? I think 50 grand is a lot of money. It would change our lives a bit. So it's up to him. If he wants to go for it, that's fine. I'll respect that. But I'd be happy with the 50. <laughs> she wants 50 grand. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Caroline. I'm going to ask you this question, Jamie. You've got the chance now to play for £100,000. Are you going to go for it and answer the fifth and final question? Mm -hmm. 
there's one thing I've done throughout all my life. It's, uh, it's save, work hard, get what you can when you can afford it. I'm not a greedy person. I love my family and I've got something which is really good already. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to turn down your offer of going forward and walk away here and make my family proud. Good luck! Well done. Congratulations. He smiles. He smiles. Excellent stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you'll agree. He's been a fabulous contestant. Walking away with 50,000 pounds. Let's hear it for Jamie. So, Jamie goes away with 50,000 pounds. Until next time, it's goodbye from Caroline. Uh, it's goodbye from me. Thanks for watching and good night. The story of how Bruce Wayne became what he was destined to be. Batman Begins is our movie starting at 10 tonight. Get yourself firmly sat on that sofa and prepare to be entertained with Britain's Got Talent, the final. It's next this evening.